So just to say, in terms of SOLUS, which uh, the action plan was laid out by the government uh, just in December 2012, it sets us a really an ambitious agenda. We're going to transform people's lives through integrated further education and training opportunities. No pressure. I'm just interested. What's the expectation of higher education? So just three points I want to make. I want to maybe just posit here today the importance of the definition and the status of further education and training sector and how you in the higher education sector can actually link in with that. I want to maybe touch on the expectations everybody has of further education and training. And I'm asking myself, do they have it in the higher education? And thirdly then, just very quickly, I want to make some comments on Professor Aaron's comments about generic skills <coughs> actually, in terms of competency that are actually required. Because while I think they are very important, I think it's a bit more complex and a bit more subtle is what, you, what is actually required by employers. So just to make a plea here in terms of our definitions, and people have made a lot here today about language and definitions, what is further education and training? And I'd just like to say, it seems to me it's defined more by what it's not than what it is. And even reading through the excellently, beautifully produced brochures today, there's reference here to the primary, the second level system, there's no reference in that to the further education and training sector. So we're, if you like, with the bit that's left out. We're often seen as the compensatory, the feeders, the bit that will give maybe prepare those rather difficult students with disadvantaged backgrounds so they can actually stay at higher education and see it through and help maybe your targets in terms of protection. We have a lot of experience in further education and training. 20% of all school leavers, the recent Department of Education and Skills Survey shows progressed post leaving certificate courses. But when we come down to defining further education and training, it's not just about PLC and about the levels five and six. It's about the whole of community and adult education, informal learning, people have actually mentioned before, as well as training.